in the previous um, lesson we worked on the edit uh, which showed us the information from the database so um, here we want to be able to edit um, the moderator's profile okay so what we want to do is um, send the information to the update method but before if we go into our gem file um, want to introduce you to by bug so by bug is um, a gem that allows us to freeze um, our rails uh, project and view things in slow motion so I can say by bug here in update um, is a method and I can fill in um, the form and click on update so this freezes here uh, nothing happens but if you go into your rails um, server the tab that you're running your server on you can see here it shows us what line we are currently executing I could tap in params it gives me other parameters that were sent from the view uh, which has a few information here so it says the moderator um, uh, is in there and we have the password and the username and and it gives us the controller it has been directed to and the method and it also has an ID so if I said params uh, symbol ID it will give me the value so that is one which we have used uh, so C for continue and enter will resume um, normal okay so this template is missing so we're saying we don't have um, an, a template for our update which we don't really need all right, so for now, uh, that's how this works. We are going to use it from time to time. So what I want to do is say moderator.find, since we know params has uh, a symbol ID um, that was passed over, we can use that to find uh, the moderator. So once we have a moderator, we want to say um, update. So we want to update it. And in here, we want to put in uh, the parameters as passed over. But for security reasons, uh, there is a, a different concept um, called uh, strong, strong parameters. So if we have a look at the documentation, we have strong parameters. So this is, um, in this example, we have people's controller. And down here, we specify that we want name and age uh, to be the only parameters uh, sent over from the view. So this is for security reasons. So we say private and we define some private methods here. So moderator uh, params is what we're going to call this one. So um, down here we say parameters. Uh, we require it to have a moderator, which we saw when we did by, by bug. Um, so moderator, we permit moderator to have only uh, these parameters. So we have ID. We have uh, full name and uh, username and password. So this way we are preventing um, any malicious attacks on our site. So somebody wouldn't uh, fake um, a field which has an admin equals true from the view, for example, which would be dangerous. So now we could copy our moderator parameters and then put it in here. And this will update um, only the parameters that we're expecting it to update. Okay, so after updating it, if it's successful, we want to redirect to back to where you came from, which would be the edit. And then if it wasn't successful, uh, we want to render the edit field. Okay, so don't redirect, just re-display it. All right, so that's what we've done here. We've um, found a moderator and we've um, updated the moderator. So this is the moderator model. Um, is what what this is so moderator uh, refers to this model here so whenever you see capital singular moderator that's what I'm referring to all right um, so this is the same as uh, this moderator there which we update and we are using um, specific parameters that we've um, touched upon so let's put by bug here and see what um, is going on under the hood. So we're filling some information, we'll click on update. 
it hangs we come in here we have a look so we could say things like params as we did before but we can also say at moderator since we have by bug um, under moderator so this gives us the moderator um, object address so we could say moderator dot inspect so that's the data that we find from the database we can also say moderator underscore params which is the private method that we have so this is the information that we are saying we want to be able to save so C for continue and um, everything will just carry on um, as normal and this is just something I installed on my machine you don't have to worry about that okay so if I come back in here reset the page and click on edit so we could change this information just to see if our edit moderator actually works um, try and save this and it has hung because by bug is still there exit exit this and then let's delete by bug so you have to remember to get rid of by bug um, once you're done debugging things again this software needs to be deleted all right so um, if I come back in here reset this page and change uh, full name to something new um, just put a password in here okay so it's redirecting me back here with new name um, and if I come over here you can see the new name also is here and if we reset um, the database the new name was updated without creating a new record so I think it's fair to say that the edit works we can change it uh, just, a, just a second time just to be doubly sure that it actually does work uh, full name, username and password which we can't really um, verify at the moment okay so once we've done that I'm going to manually go back we, we do need navigation soon so that's it um, it's there so we could safely say um, edit moderator does work so we can shade this away so we now have this here so we don't want to allow empty fields um, to be saved in the database so that wouldn't be a very good move you don't want a moderator's record uh, username to be to be blank so for at the moment when we delete all the records and click on save um, it does save which is not good if you have a look here full name is gone username is gone uh, password that just remains because it's a gem which prevents it from being empty so in the next lesson we'll look at validations and how to prevent um, blank um, fields from being saved where we don't want it so i'll see you in the next lesson